What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the UPerfect X Lap Dock. This is a portable 13.3 inch 1080p touchscreen DeX monitor. So essentially what this does is connect to your phone and turn your phone into a full laptop experience. If you have a Samsung phone, you already have a built-in application called DeX Mode. A few other brands like LG, Motorola, and a few others have a similar app but basically these allow you to hook your phone up to a monitor and turn it into a computer-like experience. Traditionally, you would either have to control this with your smartphone or connect a wireless keyboard and mouse, but with this awesome device, all you do is connect a single USB-C cable and just like that, your phone is now transformed into a full functioning laptop with a keyboard and mouse. The model I have here connects with a USB-C cable but this company does have another model which gives you the same experience, but wirelessly without any cables. I don't have that model, but everything you see in this review will reply to that one as well. So your first question might be, where does this fit and who are the people that this will be useful for? Well, I can answer that easily with my wife who is actually going to be using this the most and find it most useful. So she's currently back in college and often takes notes on her phone in class and other times take notes on her computer when she is studying at home. Then other times she even uses my tablet and has another app for notes there as well. So when she needs to combine them, she typically emails them to herself in order to collect them in one place. So all in all, she's using her phone, her computer, and a tablet. So that's three devices, three different storage locations. Now, enter the UPerfect X dock. When she is at school, she can take notes on her phone like she normally does. And then when she's at home, all she has to do is simply hook her phone up to the screen. And now just like that, all her notes and apps are now converted over into a laptop experience. Whatever she does here is powered by her phone. So at all times, her notes are gathered in the same place, on the same app, on the same device. Remember how I said she also likes to use a tablet as well sometimes? Well. Thanks to the hinge on this, she can fold the keyboard back and prop it up like this to be a standing tablet, or she can lay it down flat and use it like a traditional tablet as well. So for those reasons alone, this product is a great innovation that is really going to streamline her studying and tasks with schoolwork. I think a lot of people fail to realize the kind of power flagship modern smartphones really have. These phones keep getting better and better every year and almost everyone uses their phone for basic tasks and 75% of that power is just going to waste and never really used. So once you add on something like this lap dock here, you get to tap into your phone, convert it into a laptop, and really unlock its true potential. So looking at the screen, it definitely has a good brightness and the colors look nice and vivid. If you plan to use this screen and share it with someone else next to you, it is an IPS screen which offer great viewing angles so there won't be any issues there as well. This product also features a 10 point multi-touch capacitive screen. So the touch function is very responsive and just like any other smartphone or tablet, it also works very well with gestures like pinch to zoom and other multi-finger gestures. This screen also has a 10,000 milliamp battery. So not only does it not have to rely on your phone for power, but you also have the option to have the screen charge your phone as well. So this way, once you're done using the external screen, all you do is disconnect it, and now your phone goes back to normal and now has a topped off battery as well. The keyboard here does have full size keys, so none of those cramped up smaller keys some of these other laptops include, and the keys overall feel good with a nice travel to them. As a nice bonus, the keyboard does feature a keyboard backlight as well. The mouse is definitely not as good as something you'll see on a MacBook Pro, but at the same time, it's also not as bad as a lot of these mouses that come on Windows laptops either. A cool feature this monitor also has is a nice touchscreen interface to control your monitor settings. So you simply swipe down here with two fingers and your setting box would appear. And just like your smartphone, here you can control all your monitor's different settings very easily. This is much easier than a lot of monitors where you have to look around the monitor and use physical buttons. The build quality on this feels very good and doesn't look or feel cheap at all. It's also very lightweight, which makes it easy to take with you anywhere without having the burden of increased weight. Coming around to the side, you have your USB-C to connect to your phone, a mini HDMI in. Coming on this side, you have your power button, an SD card slot, another USB-C to charge the monitor, 
and then a headphone port, which is very handy because as you all know, phones no longer have headphone ports nowadays. So if you connect this to your phone, now you have one as well. So beside being a deck screen, this is also a full featured portable monitor. So beside hooking up to your phone, you can also use it as a portable monitor for your desktop or even a second extended monitor for your laptop. Beyond this, you can also hook it up to your Fire Stick and make it a portable TV or any other device that supports video through USB-C or HDMI. Or like in my case here, you can also connect it to your Nintendo Switch for portable gaming sessions. A cool thing I discovered while having this connected to the Nintendo Switch is while the touchscreen doesn't work or the mouse, the keyboard actually works. So if you want to use it to chat with someone in game or enter a password quicker, you can go ahead and use this keyboard and do that as well. Backspace works, even the escape works to go back as the back button. Overall, this is a very cool and innovative product and I look forward to seeing these getting more popular. Honestly, it's quite a shame that everyone wants the latest and greatest phones, but continue to use them for basic things that a phone from 2007 could have easily done as well. This will be like buying a PlayStation 5, but only playing PS1 games on it. A bit silly if you think about it, and overall, just a waste of hardware potential. So if you're someone who would like to utilize your phone's true potential, or even someone looking for a great portable monitor option, this is a product I would highly recommend. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and I'll do what I can to help. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.